Remember when I told you not to get hung up on GPT terms because we'll dive deeper into them later? Well, now is that time. Let's look at creating a GPT from scratch. Operationally, your GPT will run inside of this chat GPT UI and is hosted by OpenAI. You see several GPTs here already. You've seen before that a GPT has access to web browsing, Dolly for image generation, code interpreter, knowledge retrieval, and actions. You'll use the GPT Builder to start this creation process, and there are several ways to get to the Builder. You can go to ChatGPT and click Explore GPTs or click on your profile and select My GPTs, but you will come to a screen similar to this, and in this upper right-hand corner, you will see this Create button. Click on that and it will bring you to a blank GPT page like this. And you can start on this Create tab or the Configure tab. Using the Create tab, though, you interact with the GPT Builder using natural language. And as a side note, the GPT Builder itself is a GPT. How cool is that? The GPT Builder will populate this Configure tab for you, or you can enter the details yourself. Talking to the GPT Builder is more fun, so let's start there. In this message down here, you enter your prompt. And so my prompt is create an interactive, narrative-driven space adventure game where players make decisions, plan missions, and interact with characters and elements of the game. So that's my prompt. I will send the message to the GPT Builder. You'll notice the GPT Builder is working when you see this icon here, updating GPT. Let's give it a moment to see its response. When this purple circle closes, and here we have a response. It says, let's give your GPT a name. How about Galactic Quest? Does that name work for you or do you have another in mind? I will say, yes, this name works for me. And I will send that message. And now it's generating a profile picture. It's using Dolly to do that. We'll give it a moment to generate that image for us. And here it's saying, here's the profile picture for Galactic Quest. And you notice that it updated the profile picture here in the preview pane. Do you like it or would you like any changes? I like it. So I will say I like it. And let's see the response from the GPT Builder. Great. Now let's refine the context of Galactic Quest. To ensure the game experience is engaging, what kind of scenarios or adventures would you like to be included? Are there specific themes or types of missions you are interested in? And my response is, I envision a game where they are visiting new galaxies and encountering new life. They will have to navigate asteroid showers that could destroy the ship. And let's send that message. It's updating the GPT, and actually what it's doing behind the scenes, it's taking in the additional information to refine the instructions on this configure tab, which I will show you in a moment. And here is asking how should we focus the guidelines? How should the game handle player choices and consequences? For instance, should the game have a more forgiving approach where they can recover or should it emphasize the significance of each decision? I will say each decision is important. We'll let it update this GPT and then I want to hop over and show you the configure tab. It's going to continue to ask me questions about the gameplay. Should it use the more descriptive storytelling style or be concise and direct? So it's what it's doing now. It's asking me questions so that it can further refine the instructions. Let's click on the configure tab. Notice everything is filled out. 
Before it was blank, it entered a name, it entered a description, and it started to enter the instructions. Notice here it's a space adventure game where each decision is crucial. You will guide players through new galaxies and encounters with alien life, navigating challenges like asteroid showers. Your narratives will emphasize the importance of each choice. The game will test decision making. It will focus on creating an immersive, narrative driven experience. Your tone should be exciting and suspenseful reflecting the high stakes and unpredictable nature of space exploration. Very detailed instructions. And like I mentioned to you here on the Create tab, the more we answer the questions, the more it will refine these instructions. It even added conversation starters. What's my first mission in the space adventure? How do I interact with the alien I just met? What happens if I choose to explore the abandoned spaceship? Can you describe the planet I've just landed on? You can upload additional knowledge files like historical movie plots and characters to make the gameplay more believable. You can add capabilities like real-time web browsing, Dolly, and image generation, and even code interpreter. This is where it could write Python code to calculate the travel time between the known galaxies and those soon to be discovered on the missions. And notice you can integrate an action. Now let's test the GPT by going over to this right-hand side. It's called the preview pane. The way we test it is by using a conversation starter. Let's just click on this. And it enters that question for us. And let's see how we play this game. It says, welcome commander, your first mission in this thrilling space adventure. I'm a captain of the starship Celestial Nomad. It tells me more about the mission, it says my journey will not be easy, and it gives me my objectives, navigate the asteroid field, investigate the unknown planet, establish a communication link, and return safely. It tells me my decisions have lasting consequences. Am I ready to embark on this journey? I will say, yes, I am ready. Let's see what happens. Excellent commander, prepare for launch. It's telling us about the mission on day one, navigating the asteroid field. And it's telling us more as we approach the system. Our radar detects the dense asteroid field. And we have several decisions. We have decision one, how will we navigate? Um, we have decision two from the science officer. As the commander of the ship, we need to make a good decision so that our crew will not be destroyed. So which option would you pick? You can spend hours playing the game and testing and tweaking the instructions to refine the gameplay experience for your users. When you're ready to publish your GPT, you will click on this Save button and determine who you'd like to publish it to, only to me, to anyone with the link, or to everyone. For now, I will publish it only to me, and I will click Confirm. And there you have it. Creating a GPT using the GPT Builder is very straightforward and easy. Now let's integrate an action with an API to gain access to real-time asteroid data to make the gameplay even more believable.